2020, if all systems are go, will be the beginning of U.S. space tourism, fl tourism flights, with both high-profile companies and upstarts vying to profit from it. This month, we're diving into some of the companies looking to the skies. Yahoo Finance's Inez Frey has more, starting with SpaceX. SpaceX is known for its brash founder, Elon Musk, who is also at the helm of electric car producer Tesla. The company has made quite a name for itself since it took off in 2004, mainly for its reusable rockets, a crucial step in lowering the cost of launches. This is how it works. Here's the Falcon 9. First, it's liftoff as the rocket is catapulted into space. Then the rocket separates into two parts. The top part, called stage two, continues upward and carries the payload into space. The bottom part, called stage one, is the piece that SpaceX will try to land back on Earth. Thrusters on the first stage will fire up to flip that piece of the rocket around and point it back towards Earth. Then some engines briefly reignite to get the rocket lined up for a landing. Once the rocket gets close to Earth, the engines light again and help it slow down before the landing. When all of that is said and done, a sophisticated navigation system tells the rocket where to land, be it on land or on a drone ship at sea. Successfully reusing rockets has been a breakthrough. It has dramatically lowered the cost of launches. And while its rockets garner most of the attention, it's not the only way the company is depending to bring in money. SpaceX is leaning on using reusable rockets to set up its satellite program called Starlink, a network of some 12,000 satellites over a 10-year span with the ambition to eventually provide internet to the entire planet. Elon Musk has said his Starlink program could eventually bring in some $30 billion a year, and that money can be used to finance bigger endeavors. No one ever said that race to space would be easy. Last year, SpaceX's Crew Dragon caught on fire during an engine test. The consequence was costly and delayed a manned mission. And in 2016, a SpaceX rocket carrying a Facebook satellite exploded. That satellite was meant to help spread internet access across Africa. Despite those setbacks, NASA hired the company to take astronauts to and from the International Space Station. All eyes will be on SpaceX's Crew Dragon, which is set to launch this year. If all goes according to plan, it'll be the first time in nearly 10 years that astronauts launch from U.S. soil, a milestone for the U.S. and for SpaceX. The company's next sites will be the moon with Starship, a spacecraft under development aimed at making a trip around the moon in 2023. The first paying customer for that trip is Japanese billionaire Yusaka Maizawa. Ultimately, SpaceX wants to send humans to Mars on the Starship to eventually colonize the red planet and turn it into what Elon Musk calls a backup drive for civilization.